News. This is Today. A massive crowd out on the plaza this morning. And coming up in this half hour, it's time to pump up the volume. Glamour this is a guy you don't They're need to ask twice. <laughs> That's right. Glamour Magazine will give us their list of do's and don'ts when it comes to putting volume in your wardrobe. But they warn if you don't do the latest trend right, you're going to end up looking bigger and not better. Well, that's exactly not what you want, right? No, no. Okay. When we come home, when we come back, excuse me, glamour do's and don'ts. But first, this is today on NBC. This morning on Today's Style, the biggest trend of the season, it's called dressing with volume. What is it and how can it help you? Susie Yaloff Schwartz, executive fashion editor of Glamour Magazine, will take us through the do's and don'ts of dressing with volume. Hey, Susie. Hi, Katie. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Gosh, I would think the last thing you'd want to do if you wanted to look good is dress with volume. What does that mean it exactly? It can actually make you look really big or can really hide a lot of things that you want to camouflage. So uh -huh. it could be your best friend or your worst enemy. But this is the latest trend for spring, basically? Everyone is doing it. Everyone. Designers, high-end and low-end. Okay, well, we've got some examples of real women who are dressing with volume, and you've got some advice on how to do it the right way and the wrong way. The first one is Nina, and Nina is uh, works at, at, as an editorial assistant at Glamour Magazine. She has a fuller waist. Should we do the, the don'ts first? Well, as you can see, Katie, we're emphasizing the waist with this dress, which is the largest part of Nina's body. And then it's pleating at the stomach, so it's making her look even larger. And this is one of the hot dresses of the season. Really? And pleats are usually pretty tough to wear in general, aren't they? Unless you look like Naomi Campbell or well, someone we'll like that. Well, we'll show you someone who is wearing plates to her advantage, but with Nina, she should definitely stick away from it. All right, so let's let's see Nina as a do. So this Hi, is Nina. Nina as a do. She works at Glamour. She's a writer for Glamour. And what's great is we're emphasizing here the smallest part of her body, which is her bust with a black bar. It's very minimizing. And then everything else, her stomach, her hips, her thighs, can't see a thing, which is perfect. Nina is so cute. See whatever you want. And she's even wearing flats, ballet flats, and that's what makes it look really modest. This right. Season. That's <laughs> very cute. Great. And that's sort of a hard look to, to pull off because some of these, you know, empire waist type styles can potentially look like maternity dresses. If you have a big bust, they absolutely do. But if you have a small bust, those are the women that can wear them. All right. Great. All right, Nina. Thanks so much. By the way, we should say the dress is by Zara. Right. $99. It's only $99, which is pretty good. And London Soul makes the, the ballet flats. They're very cute. Are metallic shoes still in? Metallic shoes are great because they go with everything in your wardrobe. You never want to match your shoe to your dress. All right, That's great. Do. Okay, you look fantastic, Nina. Thank you so much. And now we have Trum. Now, Trum is a beauty writer. She has a petite figure. Nina, why don't you step over here on, in front of your don't. We'll cover that don't <laughs> up. Trum's a beauty writer with a petite figure, and you say that petite women are, have to be careful about wearing something that's going to be overwhelming. Right. It swallows them up and makes them look shorter than they are. And this shirt, as you can see, is just too big for Trom. And also, the pants are really wide, so that just makes her look shorter and wider, which she definitely does not want to do. Okay. Before Trom comes out, Susie, let me ask you a question. Some of my friends do this. Is it cool to wear, like, a black bra with a light shirt over it because you know for a while that would have been a glamour don't it still and now is. It's a, is it still it a still glamour is. don't well she's wearing if you're wearing a tank underneath that's fine okay but a bra where you could actually see the bra always a glamour don't okay you don't want to all see right trom let's see you as a do and we'll talk about how trom looks different than isn't her it, don't photo yeah isn't this great well this is the hot new top which is a peasant top it's very big and then it's really tight at the waist we're seeing a lot of elasticized waist elasticized shoulders. Trump, can you just pull down the shoulders? It's by Michael Kors. It's only $99 from Macy's. It's full around the top and then it's tight so you define the waist and then skinny jeans and she looks great. Now what kind of figure shape shouldn't wear a blouse like that? Big bust because again, well, man, you're going to look busted women. What are they going to do? We're saying stay away from volume. If really? you have a really big bust, you definitely want to stay away from volume. It's just not the look for you. Okay. Not everybody can pull it And again, off. I, okay, I'm just getting other fashion advice for spring. Animal prints are big. Back and bigger than Isn't ever. Isn't it funny? Like every two years they come back, so you should never get rid of your animal prints, I'm hoping right? you didn't throw yours away. You should have to recycle them, especially the trench coat that's hotter than anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right, Trump, thanks very much. Why don't you step in front of your don't poster? <laughs> and finally, we have Daisy. She's a fashion assistant. She has a more womanly or curvaceous shape. You go, Daisy. <laughs> and her best feature is her small waist, which obviously 
is not being accentuated in this poster. Well, the worst thing you could do is wear a big top with a big skirt because then you will just look big all over. You right. You definitely want to define something that's small so that you can carry off the volume. What about that that print, you know, that sort of Moschino, is that how you say it, Moschino right. type print of a skirt? Is that a good thing for a, a, a curvaceous woman name. No. <laughs> it's horrible. Body. I mean, the stripes, the horizontal stripes in any way, whether they're zigzag or not, are Oh, really? They're, they're always thick. If they're thin, they're okay, but if they're thick, they're going to make you look white. Okay, girlfriend Daisy, come out here. Okay, this is Daisy. <laughs> there you go. There. You're looking great. Tell us a little bit about this outfit, well, Daisy. Well, this outfit is head to toe H&M, and it retails the whole thing under $60. Wow. With the exception of the shoes. And what we did was we put a white belt so that it draws your attention directly to her waist, which is the smallest part of her body, and then a dark slimming top. And what you do is you wear a tight sweater and you have it cover the pleats so it hits the hip bone <laughs> and then everything comes out after that. That's the way to wear volume. The shirt is $14.90. Uh -huh. The, the belt is $10 and the skirt is $34. And the shoes are, are $79. $79. Is it good to wear high heels because I see those heels are pretty high? Yes, and guess what? This is the new shape of the shoe. You want... Oh, wait, go pick Go back down, to you guys. You've got to see the new shape of the shoe for this spring. This is what everybody's doing. You don't want to wear volume with stilettos. It looks wrong. You want to wear it with a platform and a chunkier sandal, and that's what looks right. You can't wear this big volume with like a really thin shoe. Okay. Work. Well, you guys all look great, Daisy. Thank you. Yourself in front of your poster too. Uh, you could not have picked a, a, a less attractive look in the before picture for Daisy. Here, go to the side. I mean, hey, come on, Susie, really. I mean, Daisy, did you think, hi, I would never do this? We did it well, together, right? right? Now, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Susie Yaloff Schwartz, thank you so much. And Nina Trump and Daisy, thanks to you all as well. You look great. Get in front of that zone poster. Okay. Thanks, Good to see you all. Happy spring. You. Thank you. you too. And up next, we're going to go spanning the world with Glenn Berman. But first, it's NBC's Glenn Berman, but first, this is today on NBC.